In this video, I'm going to share with you two tools that I use for my online research. I love sharing with you free resources available online because I work with a lot of entrepreneurs that have limited funds as they're starting and growing their businesses and they want to escape the nine to five. So I'm going to share with you two tools that you can use as you are doing your keyword research. Now, your keyword research is extremely important because when you are building a business, and especially if you're focused with online sales, you have to find out what people want and then you have to be able to provide it, to give it to them. And you want to actually be wherever they're searching for the content online. So with this application, it's called Addictomatic. It's absolutely free. And we're going to search for Instagram news. Actually, you know, that's a search that I just was actually using. So let's look up YouTube video marketing. I actually wrote a book about YouTube. So I like to make sure that I'm following YouTube video marketing, following the trends, looking at the content, making sure that my content continues to stay relevant as I'm sharing online. So with YouTube video marketing, it gives me some news. Three entrepreneurs who changed their lives with YouTube. I love stories like that. Uh, YouTube and the beauty of video marketing, you know, video marketing. These are, uh, again, other places where I can do some research. My book here, YouTube video marketing secrets revealed is actually being used in someone else's video as they're sharing some SEO tactics. I'm not sure about that, but at least it lets me know where other people may be using some of my keywords that I'm using within my book. This is also great to use. If you're worried about someone that's stealing your content, you'd actually be able to find some with tools like this as well. You would actually want to use this again to do your keyword research so that before you develop content, you know what people are actually searching for. Now, I would not use this exclusively because with this other tool that I use called Talk Walker, when you look up YouTube video marketing on Addictomatic, you'll notice there's nothing for Twitter. So no search found. Hmm, that's odd. But when you go to Talk Walker, you can search for all media types, news, blogs, forums, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can set different filters up. You can look at specific dates. And they give you the share of media types in a great graph. So I know that right now, 76.4% of my results are actually coming from Twitter. It's over 3,000 results right there on Twitter. So this has given me all of my news results so I can actually isolate this from all media types and I can go just with Twitter so I can see who's talking about YouTube video marketing, what are they saying about it, do I need to follow them, can I follow the trends, because I want to stay in front of whatever is it considered news before, so I can share it with my community. And so I'll look at here, video search, uh, engine optimization, marketing campaigns, and additional information. So again, these are just some free tools that you can use. I've done a few searches. I even did a search for myself to see what's being said out there. It's very similar to me looking at maybe Google Alerts of what's being said online. But I like looking at information in one place. I really like the idea of having a graph that shows me, you know, all of the different media types. I do notice that Amazon's not mentioned here. So if you're publishing an ebook or putting content on Amazon, even products, I would definitely um, recommend that you use the tools and resources out there available specifically for Amazon. I use a specific tool to do my keyword research when I'm publishing books because who wants to write books that no one's buying or purchasing? Not you. So again, a dictomatic talk walker. Let me know if you're going to be using these tools. Let me know how you'll be using these tools. And there's a few that I did not mention. I do have some paid tools that I do use. But again, when you're first starting out online, I would recommend that you use these tools to find out what people want and to make sure that you deliver it to them. If you know that they're on Twitter, then you need to be on Twitter sharing the content as well. I'll see you in the next video.